Good evening, everyone. So, in this video tonight, we will do a reading about a new person in your life, new acquaintance. Will you meet someone totally new? So, I have some Lenormand cards here, but they will just represent the questions that I will want to ask and to kind of help me remember the questions. For example, this, is rep this represents you, this is um, your hopes, your fears, uh, what does the opposite sex think about you usually, how do they view you, that's the person that you will meet, you know, what kind of person, so will this meeting happen, you know, how will it happen, how will this relationship be, go, what is advice for you, and we'll try to look at the timing, when could this happen. So, we have our four uh, mini tarot decks, one, two, three, four. If you'd like to participate, please think of a pair, uh, sorry, think about, yeah, that new person that you want to meet or just openly uh, think about <clears throat> what will happen in, in the situation, you know, like, oh, what can I expect, um, you know. Uh, when it comes to meeting someone new, will I meet someone new? And we will try to find out. So yeah, breathe in, breathe out, and choose the deck that you feel is yours at the moment. And we'll start reading. <clears throat> have it chosen so let's start with our deck number one which is the classical tarot mini okay I have the strength card this card can represent that you are trying real hard <clears throat> sometimes it can point to the whole process being extremely difficult for you, unbelievable. Also to you uh, trying to resist this process, like it being unpleasant and uncomfortable, things like that. Process of dating, process of finding someone new, um, you know, things like that. Also talks about courage, that you're afraid something we have issues with um, trusting maybe or doing it okay so you <clears throat> okay we have the emperor card well this card can uh, either point that for example you are married you are with a man right now or you are a person who is very in charge, who is very strong and um, you know your presence is very strong, you like to be in control and it's not easy for you to find someone who you're looking for because you, because of your strength, maybe you might be intimidating, maybe you might be very you know things like that also this card can fall for women who have issues with men especially controlling men maybe you've had bad experiences with your father maybe bad experiences with your partners before and um that energy kind of is in, in in like in you as well you know that fear of men that dislike of a certain type of man you know so there is something like that um, when we talk about are you ready for this relationship so I, you know how to put it of course if you are in another relationship maybe you should release that one first but if we're talking about relationships I don't think that you're really ready to be honest because um, there might be everything okay with financial security and if that's important uh, and like you might be your own king or queen, you know, you kind of in charge of your own life and it might be, there might be mistrust 
<clears throat> happening. Like, it's very difficult someone for someone to please you in, in that sort of way. So, we'll, we'll have a look at other cards, what can happen here. So, this is the card that represents you right now and you know you yeah, know that energy when it comes to this relationship now what are your hopes when it comes to this relationship uh, with this card we have actually no hopes you have no opinion you haven't thought about it you don't know and you're undecided what you really want so it's a very good card because it says that you need to think about what you're looking for and what you want. And with these cards, it kind of looks like you don't know. You're kind of undecided. And uh, maybe you don't, you avoid thinking about it or you didn't have time to think about it. You know, that sort of thing. So maybe there are issues like, I don't know, I, want, I would want someone, but I don't know if I could compromise my lifestyle and if that will work or something like that or maybe you have a partner and you're just doing this reading for fun and uh, it's just undecided because there is another one okay what are your fears when it comes to finding a new person well the moon means fears on its own so it could be you know being depressed carried being carried away emotionally in this relationship can be fear of falling in love and going crazy. Maybe you had, uh, maybe you're afraid of the partner cheating on you, you know, of being someone who they are not, pretending, you know. So there is a very deep, some sort of fear of un unknowingness when it comes to this new experience. So it can be from one side that you're afraid to get carried away yourself emotionally. And another can be maybe you had a history of when a person kind of impersonated someone or they pretended to be someone who they are not and kind of uh, that sort of situation. Sometimes it can be fear of alcohol or drugs being present in the relationship and kind of you don't want any uh, surprises, you know, like criminal, unexpected surprises sometimes of course this can mean many other things depending on your situation like you fear you know what will happen to animals if this person comes for example your fear of your feminine femininity or feminine health issues if this person comes you know like there's so many things that this car could mean What about um, how the opposite sex um, usually view you? How do they view you in general, all of them? What kind of reputation do you have? Well, Queen of Cups is probably the best card that can ever fall out here. So they view you as a pretty nice lady, like a very desirable female. Or, you know, if, it's, if you're a female. If you're a male, for example, it can be that they see you as an, being in a relationship with a female, like having a lover or loving women in general. So it could be uh, like, um, you know, uh, li liking women, women liking you, you know, being like a very popular person. But overall, people might see you as a nice person, um, nice inside and out, and out, you know, and from inside you might be just polite, gentle, good, you know, like, um, just feminine, you know, that feminine um, archetype, I don't know, like, typical, what they would expect, you know, like, beautiful, wearing jewelry, um, acting feminine you know so you're very kind of easy for them to to get along with and overall they they look up to you okay so what kind of person do we have what kind of person you're most likely to meet so we have the chariot 
definitely show some sort of strong person. <clears throat> can be a military person, can be a very successful business person, a person with a drive, a person who's um, very much an emperor energy again, very similar to emperor, in a way that they're an achiever, they might be athletic, they might be into sports, they might be a little bit on the athletic side, well built and confident and a little bit uh, macho, you know, trying to always come up as a winner and successful and they don't like to look like a loser at all. So this type is very masculine. I think what Queen of Cups would attract. Uh, but also they might have, you know, the negative side of that could be they could not take no for an answer, you know, they could they would want to be a leader all the time in their relationship as well. They would want a woman who kind of re would represent them. And basically, we have here as emperor. So maybe you wouldn't want that. I don't know. If you have fear of dominating men, Tarot could be a little bit of that, you know. Um, that sort of situation. Also, this card could mean that the person travels, person is in transport business, person maybe a driver or like owns a transport business or something, is a car dealer, or, I don't know, any kind of work where they travel, there are cars, machinery, engineering, you know, war, military, army, that sort of energy. So definitely it's a kind of masculine guy. Okay, so let's have a look about how will you meet that person. Well, with Six of Wands, we have somehow you will meet them. Maybe they'll come to your doorstep, literally. Like, um, maybe they'll be, you meet them through a friend or friends. Like, they're entering through your gate, through your, in your house. Something like a guest, you know. Or like this very festive type of entry happening and let's pull more cards, your first meeting. Again, we kind of have the road, cars, travel, you know, something like that. So the Queen of Pentacles might plan to work situation, like you meet them at work or you meet them while shopping, you know, doing things like that. So basically the keyboard is road, okay, road, cars, streets, something, you know, walking by, someone walking by, you meeting them while they're walking by. Let's look with this card, let's have a look with how will you, first meeting, well most likely like a surprise. There's going to be a surprise, but maybe not like a super pleasant surprise. Uh, maybe the person is like, they're going to come through a problem. Uh, for example, they'll help you f solve a problem. So the whole situation might be not super um, positive or easy or entertainment type of party situation. So they might come as someone to help you, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Next, what do we need to know about your relationship? What kind of relationship that will be? Well, King of Swords, it's, it kind of shows this very... Either the man is again dominating, either they are again like macho, you have to do what they say, you do always... It might be in a way what you like because they kind of uh, powerful and attractive and from that perspective but also <clears throat> um, at some point you will maybe not like that because you might start feeling like lower you know than them so relationship overall 
can be either like it's a boss or like some sort of authoritative authoritative figure where the like the whole situation the whole relationship might look professional and based on mental some sort of stimulation or conversations or something like that but it could also be again the work uh, teamwork and and we have this very like lots of talking but lots of professionalism for some reason so I didn't mean the professional partner but for some reason cards are coming that maybe there'll be an important me person that you will meet um, with whom there's gonna be this kind of situation you know if it's a romantic relationship it's gonna be pretty cold or you're gonna talk about work a lot in it you're gonna be like colleagues maybe you know it's gonna be about other people as well you know so it's pretty maybe untraditional um, love relationship like not trying not to show feelings even in that relationship for some reason okay what is advice for you when looking for this new partner Ten of Wands. Well, of course, if you have a relationship from before, then um, it could be too much for you to handle. Even if you have a job or a work or a business, a relationship might be just too much to handle for you. So maybe it's better to first clean up the space, so to say, and allow make space for that new person, you know, because you might end up becoming like colleagues or work partners or something like that. So it's like, uh, it might be too much at the moment, uh, you know, for you. You know, you kind of have to carry uh, too much and things like that. Also, this card could point to uh, some sort of overwork and work. Maybe it, it shows that you'll meet that person while working. Also, it could say that you might not notice that person because of your busyness and your schedule and you're just not picking up your head to look around who's there, who's interested, who's not interested. So that sort of situation. Now, let's have a look uh, if we can get any hint about when will this happen. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune, we have kind of numerologically speaking, number one or number ten. It could be one year, it could be ten months. Um, but the most important is going to be kind of unexpected. It's going to be like a surprise type of thing. So now you need to think about what is believable. Do you think ten years is believable? I think that's too much. Do you think one day is believable? I think that's too little. One week, too little. I think one month, maybe. But uh, it could be 10 months, it could be October, it could be one year. So it's up to you to feel um, how do you think, which, which, which timing is the best for you here. So this is our reading number one. Let's move on to our reading number two now. Okay, our deck number two. It's the Running Press Tarot deck. We're doing this reading about a new acquaintance in your life, new special someone. Uh, will you? <clears throat> can you hope of meeting someone anytime soon? And what kind of person, what kind of relationship will that be? Sometimes it's just gonna probably show just a random person, maybe that you'll have a crush on or that will play an important part in ro your role in your life and will not necessarily be someone like your soulmate. So I don't know, sometimes cards just uh, just say things that in their own way yes so first card is representing you and are you ready for this relationship what is your relationship with this 
relationship problem. Okay, the Empress. Well, I think um, you can say that you're a very beautiful, feminine, nurturing person, a beautiful lady, great um, as girlfriend, very caring, very kind of supporting, very nice, um, nourishing, maybe a good cook, maybe just resourceful in various things. You know, someone who has that mother energy or like very nice and caring, friendly kind of energy. So I think with this energy, everyone would be happy with you. You might have this over-caring tendency maybe, um, like a mother, you probably would cook for that person, you probably will make that person at ease all the time, and you have that um, coziness around you. And I think, yeah, it might say that you're ready, very ready for a new relationship, because you're open and... You want someone to, to take care of, something like that. There is no blockages, there is no fears. Uh, sometimes this card can mean being married, so unless that is the case, you're ready. What are your hopes when it comes to this relationship? Page of Swords, your hopes? Well, if you have children, and if you are looking for a relationship, if you have children from before, it might be that you're worried whether your new partner will accept children and love children for, you know, whatever they are. This card can also talk about, you know, uh, a certain education that the person has, or for example, if you have any illnesses or problems, you know, you are you want the person to accept that, you know, that part about you. Okay, so also it could be that you value honesty and you hope that the person will be honest somehow. Okay, so this was our question about your hopes. Now, what about your fears? When it comes to this relationship, the emperor. Well, interesting. Fierce emperor. Maybe you don't want that person to dominate you again. They don't want you to kind of. They don't want. You don't want them to limit you somehow, uh, set the rules that are very inflexible, and you don't want basically um, maybe them to be a, a standard type of man figure like traditional masculine figure you don't want that also can say that you don't want them to be like your father you don't want them to be like very boring in a way uh, and set too many rules and, and things like that now uh, what does the opposite sex usually think of you Ace of Pentacles, usually they might think, uh, well, first thing is that you're a good catch. You know, you're a good catch. Uh, you, you like uh, knew someone, good opportunity. Could be someone with money, you know, financially. Like, they also look at that. Could be uh, the sense that you have a lot to offer and that being with you is a big honor and um, it's very good, you know, basically. Some if you feel like you're good, you, you're well off financially, then the people might immediately notice that somehow. It also could be like good marriage material, good for marriage, and, um, you know, there's some, some, something very promising when it comes to it. There is some richness coming to you. It can be that you look voluptuous. Sometimes some of you might have this very voluptuous body, curvy, physique, curvy figure, and um, roundness, you know, so people might notice that a lot, okay, 
Now, let's have a look at what kind of person you're most likely to meet next. Hmm. Well, Four of Cups uh, definitely talks about some sort of a lazy person, I don't know. It's a person who is not super active. It could be someone who is a dreamer, like a freelance writer or something, freelance person. So yeah, the person, yeah, I don't know, someone, they might love to drink. They might love to be a little bit of a kind of sluggish person, likes to be a coach potato, not, not super disciplined and ambitious, maybe they don't care that much, maybe they are on the relaxed side. It doesn't have to be anything bad, okay, this card, <clears throat> these are the worst case scenarios, for example, likes to drink and is lazy, but uh, the good part about this person can be just a thinker, writer, artist, you know, where they live kind of a slow-paced life, you know, and they're just that sort of person. Uh, lots of free mind, free time they have, and um, they kind of love to live on their own um, <clears throat> pace, how they, ima how they want, they don't want to be rushed, and pushed by the people, you know, so kind of a little bit unusual, you can say. Your meeting, uh, what do you need to know about how you will meet? Well, we have justice here. So who knows, it can uh, be something like um, you'll meet in a hospital or you'll meet in some sort of police place or... You'll meet while solving some sort of uh, formalities, some documents, especially with Knight of Pentacles, like they will come with some sort of uh, business things to you to deliver some papers or some deliveries. There's something official about it, like uh, that will require signatures and things like that. Mm. I'm asking about the place where you will meet. So it could be some hospital, actually, caring center, something to care for people, maybe a clinic, maybe something like that, you know, because we have a little bit of formal feel coming here. So if you work in that area, maybe they'll be there. You know, who knows? I'm asking about their profession. We have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is something they, they live for themselves, they work for themselves, like they have some like entertainment, something or pleasure, you know, that sort of um, thing going on. What will your relationship be like? What will your relationship be like? And Wheel of Fortune can talk about unstable relationship, uh, kind of no strings attached. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not there, unpredictable, kind of no no commitment type of relationship, unexpected, um, chaotic, you know, you can say. So maybe there's going to be something seasonal going on. For example, you're going to meet on certain times only, like it's gonna be always a surprise, always unexpected, so it's kind of that sort of thing, very, very open and not uh, regular, so to say. What is advice for you? When it comes to this person for pentacles, well, first of all, you know, it can say literally, um, don't overshare um, with people that you don't know well. For example, don't tell about if you have money that you have a lot of money even in the relationship. Try to be safe. Try not to... Because the person might actually be like a little bit of an untrustworthy type. So maybe it's better not to really become like a carer for that person because you seem to have that energy like a mother who wants to save and care for everyone and they seem to be not caring at all like a little bit selfish 
so this card can say just um, you know slow down with your caring and a little bit with money also don't share the money with that person too much don't waste your money on that person a little bit you should be like traditional a little bit conserved when it comes um, to them do not reveal all your secrets on the first date you know that sort of thing okay now when will this person when will this situation happen we'll have the number 11 it could be November it could be in two months it could be um, in two weeks that sort of situation And again, we have a a situation when you will go to help someone, or when you will go travel somewhere. And you'll have to tra travel somewhere with business or helping someone. So these are like the most um, likable timings, you know, on the travel. If you have any travels planned, it could be that you will meet them. You know, the moon can talk about the night time, that you'll meet them in the evening or the night time while traveling somewhere to help someone, you know. So, that's our reading. Um, let's move on to reading number three. Our deck number three. Will you meet someone new? Are you ready? How do people view you? So first, you. Which card represents you? Nine of Swords. Well, we see someone worried, always worried, always in thoughts. Maybe uh, you think nothing good can come out of the situation. Nothing good can come out of any relationship. Maybe you're... You feel unlovable or you feel <clears throat> like this is, you know, cannot bring anything good, for example. So there is some sort of fixation on some sort of sad thoughts when it comes to a relationship, but it's just, you know, thoughts. Um, let's say negative thoughts. So are you ready? I think... Oh, you just need to change your thoughts if you think negatively about meeting someone. It could be that you will meet either a person who's also negative or basically the situation that will happen, you will translate it into a negative some sort of situation because you have some sort of maybe trauma or sad experience that you haven't solved or that you're kind of uh, dwelling on right now okay so what are your hopes when it comes to a new relationship king of pentacles perhaps you're looking for a person who is kind of <clears throat> practical faithful secure safe you know kind of earth sign type of person Maybe you want them to be good with money, you want them to do their own business, you want them to be normal, <clears throat> a normal guy, for example. Maybe you had experiences with people who were the opposite of that, so you're looking for security right now, <clears throat> and faithfulness, so to say. So, you have your own idea, I think, about what you want, at least, but you're not too sure that you can get that person. You can, you know, find them or you deserve them or something like that. What are your fears when it comes to this new experience? Will of fortune... Well, it can be, again, you are afraid of uh, maybe um, not serious relationship, insecure relationship, you know, where they come and go, for example, they ghost you, something like unexpected happens, um, bad surprises, you know, things like that, bad luck, you know. So you may be believing in fate and you just don't want to meet someone 
who will bring a bad experience for you. Okay, it's like what kind of card will the fate deal, will the destiny deal to you? The next, um, what do the opposite sex usually think of you? So we have the lover's card, it could be they see as the person who is either in the relationship, it could be the person who is likable, a person some, for some people might be that um, attractive, you know, attractive, and uh, this can be too sexual for some people, like they attracted you in that way and not on a deeper way, and that is a problem. Some people might think that you're, for example, bisexual, you know. But overall, a beautiful female, sensitive, beautiful female. And I think the opposite sex usually likes you. Okay, now, what kind of guy, what kind of person will you meet? You're most likely to meet right now. Well, with this card, we have a person very unusual. Um, the hermit and the hangman. So it could be the person who really kind of meditates and uh, is psychic and is into that clairvoyant stuff, or maybe they are clairvoyant and they are the tarot reader or something like that. Maybe more like a hippie-ish type of person, loner. Um, a little bit they might be living on um, the not so grounded type of way, not materialistic. They don't seem materialistic unless this person can be also a scientist who spends a lot of time thinking, basically. But they also like solitude, so that might be not so perfect for a relationship. But they might be kind of the sort of person who works in their enlightenment and spirituality, and maybe that's what you're looking for, you know, although. It seems that you want someone more grounded and stable. Your first meeting. What do we need to know about your first meeting? Again, it's a trip. It's someone coming. Uh, you're meeting a person. Again, maybe on the road. Maybe somewhere near the river while parking. Uh, parking in camping, um, like doing picnics, you know, that sort of feeling is that there's water in that place, and maybe it's na nature, you know. For some people, maybe it's a pool, or like, you'll meet them somewhere like that. Okay, now let's have a look at what will your relationship be like. Well, I think it's a good relationship, cute relationship. I have this emperor again coming out. A very balanced, I would say, harmonious relationship can be corresponding, a lot of corresponding, kind of starting slowly, but gradually growing, and there's always some sort of peace and calm about this relationship, there's, you know, maybe it's um, a calm and mutual relationship, normal relationship, that sort of thing. Also, there is a sense of formality here. Uh, that maybe at first you will meet in some club or work or some place, you know. Um, and there's, it's not going to be like crazy passionate something in the beginning. Okay, so what is advice for you in this relationship? Page of Wands. Well, it can be just try it out. Don't be afraid, you know. Um, Try new things, be open to new experiences. Um, uh, maybe 
if you have any offers for example to travel or go somewhere you could try going or traveling somewhere especially this relationship can come through other people and through other hobbies or something so be open to things and live life to the fullest because one of these experiences might open up this relationship for you for example um, joining some course and and traveling somewhere hiking somewhere doing something like that uh, for example being an inter interchange student or something could also be um, encouraged so it could be new endeavors and hobbies and things that you could do in order to meet that person because we do new things and then we need someone it's like we don't meet people sitting at home okay when could that happen when could that happen we have number six well again six months Six years, I think it's too too long. Six weeks, it could happen. Also, a situation where there's some sort of award thing going on. Some sort of, um, look, we have six of wands, six of pentacles, six of cups. Some, some kind of rewards function or where you meet people when there's some sort of gathering and... People are giving gifts to each other. So this could point to even some sort of festival or like a day when people give things for each other. I don't know, maybe it's Thanksgiving, you know, or something like that. Because it's talking about giving, if you see. Giving, giving, giving. It definitely looks like either people like guests meet and they give things to each other or maybe it's um, like um, you're winning something and someone's awarding you with something. Uh, it could be some sort of promotional party at work. It could be some festival in school or college, I don't know. So yeah, that sort of reading we have here. Now let's move on to our reading number four. And our last deck is the Rider Waite Tarot. So let's have a look at this situation. New relationship, new acquaintance, uh, romantic. Um, what's going to happen? Let's have a look at your card. Are you ready for this new relationship? And what kind of card represents you here? Okay, Nine of Cups is a pretty good card. It says that you're pretty happy, satisfied with yourself. Uh, I think you like fun and you kind of live in the now. And the person who just is about laughing and fun here. You know, so some sort of like enjoyment, good attitude, positivity towards this relationship. And you have only positive thoughts and feelings when it comes to this relationship. Like you want to party and you want to have fun here. What are your hopes when it comes to a new relationship? Mm. You, I think, don't have any particular hopes. You don't expect for too much, which is can be good at times. Actually, you might be actually thinking that it will end and it will not be good. You know, it will not last or something. So you're kind of morally prepared and you, you're okay with that. It could be that. What are your fears, worries? You might be afraid actually, um, as you can see, either to be indecisive yourself when it comes to the relationship, maybe you have like too many partners that you cannot choose from or you just don't want stress and fights and arguments and all that stuff. Maybe that sort of thing that you just don't want arguments and tension now what does the opposite sex usually think of you what kind of you know tower interesting card it they might think that either that you're some scientist who works on bombs and you know nuclear scientist you know or army person or some sort of person who works with emergency situations firefighters, I don't know, ambulance workers, 
um, scientists, uh, doctors, I don't know, builders, something like that. They could see you through your work often. But if this is not the work that they are seeing you, it could be they are seeing you as a person who is divorced, as a person who had a very dramatic breakup, as a person who shattered, bankrupt, or something like that. Like some major thing happened in your life and it was traumatic, for example, and that's how they see you here. Um, now it could also point to you living in a high, high building. And for example, most of your partners know you like a person from that building or a person who lives in like a set of high buildings in some area in the city. So that sort of situation. What kind of person you most likely to meet? Well, Queen of Wands. Well, we might have a girl here. We might have a very attractive female. Maybe some of you, I don't know if you're a guy or a girl. It doesn't matter. You might like girls. So it says that the person is going to be very, um, very visible persona, very kind of driven, noticeable, strong presence type of thing, confident, interesting, you know, fun, social, you know, that sort of thing. And of course, for some can be a female and it's someone, you know, with ideas, with hobbies, with purposes and some busy, um, very active, you know, that sort of situation. Um, she might be also a very popular person, you know, when it comes to people, she might be super popular, but she wouldn't have time to, she, she's always on a run type of person, doesn't have time to, you know, like for cozy time at home, you know, she probably likes to socialize too much. Okay, what will your first meeting be like? How will it happen? Well, this card, first of all, can talk about you meeting near the sea. You know, there is some sort of sea. Um, it could be literally ocean and water places. It could be like they're standing by the door and you're coming as well and stand by the door and you meet by the door while looking at some sort of view somewhere so that that's your meeting that's your meeting um, also this card can talk about some sort of like um, you know business trip or uh, like some training or seminar type of thing where you know you came to study or learn there and you kind of meet in that place it could be more people around you know like a group place you know so that sort of situation Okay. okay, I pull these cards as well. These can talk about a scientific place as well, like research center or like some intellectual place. So how will your relationship go? What kind of relationship will, will it be? Well, with this, with this card, it, it shows kind of a little bit boring for some reason, like Really, you can live without it, that sort of thing. Not really something exciting, just something regular. Um, and... Like, maybe all, like a more like a hurdle than something you love doing. I don't know why we have these cards. So, I think some relation... Because you don't expect any, actually anything in the relationship... You're okay with boring relationships. It shows you don't have any expectations. You just maybe are already happy. And you don't believe that a relationship can make you more happy. So I think you probably are going to end up with a relationship that is kind of... It doesn't matter if it exists or not. It doesn't make a difference. That sort of thing. It could say that it's kind of painfully boring. You know, this like it's hard to handle this boredom. 
type of thing and king of cups and the star can say that you might fall in love with someone else or uh, maybe it's someone else you know who you will be thinking about so maybe that relationship will lead you to some other relationship you know so there are things like that what is advice for you when it comes to new relationship well i think is don't lose your hopes and don't be so pessimistic you know if, try to work this out try to be more like optimistic when it comes to the relationship and if there are some obstacles you'll have to kind of get over them and you know maybe it talks about the fact that you don't expect anything you don't want to work on it you kind of don't care about it so it says that maybe you should um, try to try harder when it comes to this relationship because it depends on us how we try to build them and the strength of that relationship Yeah, so, and be strong and, you know, don't give up just because there are some problems. And let's have a look, when could this happen? When could this happen? I feel it will happen when some male person will contact you, you know. It will happen when you will receive some sort of communication from that person depends on them so when you when the strong personality or, or something like that the um, like older person a little bit the contact and start talking to you I don't know Facebook social media or work or something it could be the beginning of that relationship now when is it gonna happen you know, with the hermit, I think it might take time. It can also point to winter. Um, and again, there's some sort of uh, institution, organization, so whatever you will be in that organization and when a man start talking to you who is kind of like superior to you or older to you, darker than you, you know, and uh, this could be when you will meet that person. So this is our reading number four. Um, I hope that it made sense for you. I don't often make single card reading, so it's kind of struggle for me at times. Uh, so let me know if this resonated, is this believable? Because I think these parts are easy to verify that you could know, like about yourself, about your hopes and fears and what people usually think of you, you might imagine. But this part we might not be able to verify very quickly, only after it happens. So I don't expect you to wait for so long and then leave a comment. But if you uh, can, I'll be very happy if you can leave your feedback below so thank you for this thank you for watching this reading and i hope to see you again soon bye bye